So here's something a little bit different on the, uh, the workbench, soon to be on the workbench. This is a Greenworks lawnmower that's been rebadged as a Craftsman. Best I can tell, it was sold in around 2014. It's a 40 volt lawnmower. It's got two motors in it, two smaller blades, and it still works. I was given this from the original owner who I guess bought a new machine. They said that they couldn't get this one to start and run, so they gave it to me. And I had only wanted it for the batteries. The batteries are worth money. And I've got the charger over there, too. So I figured that, you know, at worst case, I could get the batteries and sell the batteries and, you know, be done with it. I got it back here, and I flipped it over onto its side. And both of the motors were locked up. Like, they moved a little bit like this, but there was a lot of resistance. Both of them did. So I kind of figured that, well, maybe it's uh, just a safety mechanism, something to do with the electrics in the, the machine. But I took my boot and uh, pushed down on them in the direction of rotation according to the blade, freed them up, set the mower back down on its wheels, pressed the button, threw the handle back, and it started right up and ran fine. I went through and mowed a little bit with it. It seemed to do a decent enough job. So I started thinking, this would be perfect for my uh, yard at the house because I have a smaller yard and it's got a weed problem. So instead of lugging one of my gas machines over there, I could just have this one there and, you know, only use it two, three, four times a year. Not really that many times and uh, not even have to worry about it. So I started looking into the part situation for it. I found a new set of blades, which, by the way, that link is in the description. The blades are very cheap. Uh, 15 bucks from Amazon as of right now. It could go up a little bit. Who knows? But I started looking at other parts, uh, namely this cover, because this battery cover here is also broken. So I figured, well, might look into a new one of these. So I pulled up the parts diagram. And the only thing that you can buy is this whole cover here is an assembly. Great. That must be expensive. Well, it wasn't expensive, uh, $20 to $40, depending on where I shopped it from. However, big problem. Every single part for this machine is obsolete, no longer available. Nobody carries anything for these machines. Greenworks, Craftsman, does not matter. Bear in mind, I would have had to use the Greenworks part number, and I would have had a green piece to put on it. But, uh, yeah, everything. Everything on this machine, minus the batteries and the blades, nothing is available for it anymore. You can't find anything. It's all obsolete. So stuff like these handles, if that broke, broke off, you're kind of SOL. Uh, this person's dog got a hold of this thing, and, uh, you know, you can't replace that. Now, bear in mind, this is a 2014. It's almost 10 years old. These people arguably got well and beyond this this thing's lifespan out of it. They definitely got their money's worth out of it because the batteries still seem to hold a charge. I don't know that they've ever replaced them, but it's a four amp hour and a two amp hour. And basically what happens is as you use it, one of them will drain, then it'll switch over automatically to the other one. So you're supposed to get like 40 to 45 minutes of runtime out of two batteries on one of these, which isn't bad for most people's yards. I can just run this and uh, when it finally quits and gives up the ghost, that'll be fine. I won't have suck, sunk any money into it. So what I'm gonna do here is try and undo this handle without breaking anything. When I take this top cover off, we're probably gonna have a spider problem. So I'm just taking the handle off just to uh, be able to get around it a little bit easier. And also take the batteries out. And this is a big battery. Oh, and by the way, both of these batteries, even though they're labeled Craftsman, they will work on the Greenworks 40 volt tools. So that's another positive if I ever wanted to buy one of the Greenworks tools, just the tool only. These batteries will work on it. As I'm looking at this top cover, I'm going to have to vacuum out some of that, but it looks like we've got Torx uh, screws holding everything on and together. 
So I've already started pulling the screws out. They're just T20 screws. I'm kind of spitballing this. Pretty sure all these top cover screws have to come off. Two screws took the level handle off. So let's see what we got to work with here. Is this going to cooperate? My money would be on probably not. Might be screws in here too that have got to come off. Just did a little bit of cleaning and that reviewed, revealed two more screws. One which isn't even connected. This other one. So let's see. That's promising so far. Yeah, I think there's a couple more hiding down in here. Sure enough, it's two screws. All right, let's see if we can pull this up yet. Looks like it's clipped in place, of course. Try not to destroy this old plastic. Come on. Of course, these are Phillips. Oh yeah. Well, I don't know how much of a spider problem there is, but it's definitely dirty under here. So I'm gonna clean all this up. Let's get the old vacuum and get rid of it all. So there's uh, surprisingly no spiders. Got the majority of the grass and stuff out that was inside of it. I'm going to uh, spray some white lithium grease onto the metal on metal contact points for the uh, leveler system and uh, basically button this back up. I did want to point out though, here's the uh, one of the circuit boards and you can see there is a little bit of corrosion there on the top, but look at how much they bury those components into that board. And they do that mainly to waterproof things, prevent as much corrosion as possible. But it's really kind of interesting that they know people are just going to leave this stuff outside. Plus, with wet grass, it's it's going to get its way. It's going to find its way in here, no matter how good they try to seal it. There's there's no way in stopping wet grass from coming through here, especially through up up through the motor even. Um, which I'll show you guys down at the bottom. The bottom of these motors have breather holes, which is kind of another big issue that I have with uh, electric lawnmowers based on how they operate in a uh, wet grass type environment. I'm just buttoning the top cover back up and just doing it all by hand. Just doing it all by hand. good. That one's good. So I just got to throw the rest of the hardware in and we'll flip it over and pull those blades off. Then I'll show you guys the bottom of the motor. Now as I mentioned earlier, these blades if you want to replace them are cheap. $15 for a pair from Amazon. That link is down below. But I'm cheap as well. And I don't really want to put any money into this machine if I don't have to, especially now that I can't properly fix it up because none of the parts are available. I'm just going to pull the blades off and sharpen them and uh, basically be done with it. So it's a 15 millimeter. There we go. 
Now these are both two different blades. So I'm just gonna do one at a time, put a good sharpen on them. And I use a uh, bench grinder and then put it back on. I'll take the other one off and do that one. It's a pretty simple process, but again, I do recommend you guys just replace these. So you got the blade all sharpened up. This is what I was talking about with these motors. Notice how they have these breather holes in here. Now in my mind, that's not the best thing to have on a, elect on a lawnmower, just in general. Because this side of the motors are exposed to grass and you have to have those for cooling purposes. So what ends up happening is grass is gonna get sucked into there. Probably it's gonna go in through the other side, but that can't be good for the motors long term, all that debris that's going in. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm not. Maybe these are just purpose-built motors for that. I don't know. But that just doesn't seem like a good idea to me. So I would think that, you know, if anybody has one of these to maintain its longevity, you're gonna to wanna to clean out the underside of this deck probably after every single mow. And just make sure that if you do have an electric lawnmower that these holes are not plugged up with grass and whatever else, because that is not good for them. It can't be. I think I'm good with that. Throw this back on. Half moons on this side, dowels on this side. I think this can only, this can go on both ways it looks like. Just cinch this side down. Now I just have to finish off with this one. And by the way, this bottom one's righty tidy. This one's righty loosey, so it's reverse. Keep that in mind when you pull the blades off. So I did a bit of a redneck fix with the battery covers. Didn't really have a better option, so I just stuck duct tape on them. Put the batteries back in. We'll see how long it lasts. I think this mower will work fine for my purposes. So you turn it on. Works fine. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little bit uh, different than what I normally mess with. So stay tuned for more.